If Cayman party ain't keeping, Prezi party ain't keeping. That was the word of the TTPS. Viewers, it's 10 best. Coming up in today's random report, Trinidad Tobago police take aim at Prezi's birthday party. Prince Swanee. Swanee November. Prince Swanee releases three new songs. Back to back to back. Viewers, Pestilence video from T Man and K Man. Who see where you know me from? A true see me laugh up a time by the girl. Me even fun. Right into the main headline, the hot topic today. Reports coming in from November 8th from the Newsday. The planned birthday bash for Ansel Velafana, aka Prezi slash chemist, remains in limbo pending the outcome of a license appeal. The highly anticipated Rich Juve birthday bash scheduled for November 9th is now in jeopardy owing an ongoing appeal by the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Police have raised objections to the event's license, citing similar concerns that led to the cancellation of Trinidad artist Cayman 6 Kashif Sankar's birthday concert on November 2nd. Cayman's concert, scheduled for November 2nd at St. Paul Street, Port of Spain, was cancelled after court did not grant approval for it. Viewers, here see the same thing, the same thing they do with Cayman, they're doing to Prezi. The TTPS ain't playing right now. Any concert, anything to do with anybody, any artist, any Trini Bad is being appealed. Any licensing is being appealed. Senior Superintendent Raymond Tom, in a brief interview with Newsday on November 8th, said police had raised objections to Vela Fana's event on the same grounds. He said police have appealed. The court initiated approval and its outcome was pending. <laughs> Viewers, rich out might turn to a blackout if the TTPS gets through with this appeal. Ask if Vela Fana's AK Prezi party would proceed in light of the appeal. Tom said a final decision would be made later, adding no event could proceed unless the appeal was granted. <laughs> Viewers, it's not a good look for Percy birthday later on today. We're going to see. We're going to keep you posted on this. It's 10 best. We're going to pause for a minute. Moving along. Yo. Prince Swanee. Back to back to back hits. In the first week of November. Back to back to back videos. <laughs> viewers, you know. It's a good look. So viewers checking out Prince Swanee's progress right now in the month of November, we see something that we haven't seen for a while. You know, Prince Swanee, the last five songs on his channels been video after video starting off with sale. Then we have the video for Foreign featuring Scale Baby, Heavyweight, the third video. Viewers, believe the fourth. And just yesterday, we had Till We Die. Viewers, <laughs> Prince Swan is on a serious run. A serious run right now from the front runner and the Trinidad right now. I think right now, fans, ups, everybody are in shock. It's the best. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Prince Swan is showing consistency. Viewers, you know something. It's not about big records and how much views you get on one song. A consistent artist will beat a big song artist any day. Some artists are one hit wonder. Some artists have five hit songs. But artists who have hundreds of consistently good music could surpass your most popular artist. We've seen it happen. Viewers, it builds up over time. It's a good look. Moving along. <laughs> Viewers, we see the video for Pestilence being released by T Man 6 and T Man. Yeah, we like that the video is on T Man channel. That's a good strength for T Man right now. But with what's with the Pestilence going on and with the TP, with the TTPS, all artists better watch. It seems like the government, well, the police department, 
led by certain figures of government are actually targeting the artists more than the criminals in the streets that's what i think you know we look on social media in trinidad and tobago every day we see a lot of violence a lot of sprays and robberies in the streets but for some reason these politicians and some of these leaders want to paint a big picture and they target trini bad more than they target the bandit when last you see a crime solve in public when last you see you know a crime being stopped in progress <laughs> easy pickings for the ttps to target an artist who's singing a song but it's harder work to fight a criminal element that's elusive we want the ttps to do some real work right now man solve some crime prevent some crime yeah we have bruises and robberies going on in Puerto Spain, Central, South, East, West, Corridor. You know, we need those things to stop. We need the, the domestic crime rate down and not just focus on the artists and, you know, blaming the artists for influencing this and influencing that. An artist can magically make somebody pick up a gun unless that person decides to do it, you know? So viewers jumping back into the fiscal analysis of the event, we're seeing that Prezi paid 174 KTT, which amounts to about 24 KUS for the security detail by the TTPS. So viewers, we know it's a well-secure event. What's going on? Stay locked to 10 best so we can let you know, give you the update a little later on today on the happenings of this event. Who see where you know me from? And do you see me laugh couple times by the girl? Me even fun. Heart will cool, you don't know me that. Being punches, me don't know if I. So Ten Best Nation, you know I've been telling everybody for a while now we have an Amazon store. You see in the videos in the description below, this section that says more. Just click on it and you will see the full description of the video. Check it out. Click the link. Shop on the Amazon Ten Best store where you could get discounts and more. So, for example, you know if you want a little Jordan, a little pool or a little whatnot this that link me up on the ig most of the things in this store already we keep building this store we keep putting in new things every day every week